everybody! Today in this video I will be making the Robot Geisha from Ghost in the Shell. Just gonna quickly say I have not seen the movie yet and I do plan to. I also plan to watch the anime as well. Just before we start I just want to show you previous doll customs that I've made in videos and there will be a link to all of these down in the description. So without further ado, let's start the customization. This right here is the body I will be using and this is the head. I've already been doing some outlining on the face and the top of the head so I know where everything is going. I will be making hair out of clay and I'll show you all of the tools for that in a second. And I will be painting the face using acrylic paint and for the dress I'll just be using some fabric. Here are some photos of the geisha from Ghost in the Shell and she's just so creepy but amazing. There are some different versions of the geisha so I'll kind of make my design based on all of them. There's a more cartoony one which will probably kind of fit my style a little bit more. Anyway, so I'm gonna start the repaint now and yay! So I'm gonna start with the hair. This is the clay I will be using, it's just some ordinary hair drying clay and I also have a load of clay tools as well for doing designs and everything. Also cake tools uh, work just as well. I added in some extra details using one of the tools to make it look more like hair, but I didn't want to make it look too realistic, so it's just some extra detail. I like how that came out, it looks really good. So now I will be doing the like updos, I don't really know what to call them. To do that I will be sticking a few pins in her head to make sure that the clay has something to stick to, and these will be going through the head like so. pieces are dry so I'm gonna go ahead and glue them with super glue. So it's all glued in now, it's not gonna move probably. Um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and paint the hair black. So this is what the geisha is looking like so far and I really love how the hair looks. It looks just like how I wanted it to and I really wasn't expecting it to look good. So now that I've done this hair I am going to be moving on to the face. Now the face is completely done. Well, almost. I still need to do the robot looking bits, but uh, anyway, this is what it looks like. I love it. I love how the eyes came out. They look really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and seal the eyes and then the face is mostly done. I am using this to seal the eyes. So now that I've done that, I'm going to be moving on to the outfit. So I'm actually going to be making the kimono type dress now, and this is the fabric I will be using. This was the only decent fabric I could find. I got it for two pounds from the works, and I just thought it would be an interesting pattern to have on a kimono. I don't know if it'll look good, but we'll just have to wait and see. So I will be having to use my sewing machine for this, because I am terrible at hand sewing. So yeah, here is the fabric. I'm just going to turn it right side down because I need to sketch the pattern onto it. So I'm just going to trace around this previous kimono that I made. Well, the top of the kimono. And see how it goes. I, I'm not very good with this. If you want to know properly how to make doll clothes, please go to someone else's channel. So here is the sketch and I've just done a seam allowance so 
I have enough space to actually sew onto it. So I, I'm gonna need two of these and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut them out. So I now have both of the pieces and I need to put them good side to good side and then sew along this line that I've done right here. So this is what it looks like so far. I will have to cut off the excess thread and also the excess fabric as well. I'm just gonna make sure this actually fits on the doll before I do anything. So it fits and I'm really happy with how the overall pattern is, I guess. I have to turn this right side out now and have a look what it actually looks. And also gonna hem the edge as well because it's, it's kind of coming undone, which is not good. So this is what the top of the kimono looks like. I'm actually really happy with it. Yeah, so I just need to make the actual skirt bit now and I'll be right back. Now I've actually done the main kimono, I will add a belt because it looks weird with her belt. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. I love how it came out. So yeah, now I am going to just do some detail on her body because she has some like pink on her neck and also the robot-y arms and everything. Don't know if that made sense, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. with the detailing so I've just added some to her wrists and also her upper body and her legs as well so I'm just gonna put the kimono back on and have a look how it looks I guess so here's what the kimono looks like and now I'm just adding the belt and I'm using hot glue to do that there's the kimono it is completely done now and now I'm gonna be moving on to that little golden headdress she has I'm going to be using these tiny little gold bead things. So everyone, the doll is completely done. I have to say, I really like how the overall thing came out, although I'm not exactly the most pleased with the pattern on the fabric. I kind of wish it was a bit different, but apart from that, this doll is perfect. Here is a look at her hair as well as the charms and the little stick that's in it. And here is the face. I added some extra bits on just at the end, just to add extra detail. And now down to the kimono. So this doll can now join my collection of dolls that I've made in videos and I'll leave a link down below for all of the videos. So that is Hatsune Miku, Harley Quinn, Noodle and Katana. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Now I'm going to leave you with some photos and a few little videos of this doll.